You know, guys, there's a, a lot of, right over here, a lot of media coverage, um, you know, and people can get on the internet and read papers and, and watch it on TV about, about this particular game. But I'm kind of curious, you mentioned something about the 50s. Like, how, how was this game as far as the fans and everything in the 50s? I wasn't around, but what was this game like back then compared to today? I'm much too young to remember it. <laughs> I wasn't here in the 50s, so I'll defer to these older gentlemen over here and, and let them tell you about it. I just know that even from Ohio, we heard about the Michigan Michigan State game. Uh, I was a high school coach in, uh, in Ohio and brought kids to Michigan State uh, on their visits. And, uh, so uh, I knew a little bit about it from that, that standpoint. It was always still a very tough game, but they can tell you more about it than I could. I came here in 1956 from Western High School right here in the city. And uh, we were a pretty good football team then. Just building, uh, Biggie came in in uh, 47, and uh, then Duffy took over in 54. And that was a... Uh, a lot of similarities to what we're doing now. Like I said, it's a simple game for simple people. Phys ed majors, basically. And, uh, the only ones, that screw, only ones that screw it up are the ones that think they're too smart. It's still a physical game, but um, 1956, uh, we won the Rose Bowl. That's when Dave Kaiser kicked the field goal. and. Uh, he couldn't see very well. So when he kicked it, he turned to the ref to find out if it was good or not. He couldn't see the goalposts and won the game. That's a true story. And uh, Duffy, uh, Duffy was, uh, he was a lot of fun. And he took a liking to poor kids. Him himself came <coughs> from Lawrenceville, Pennsylvania, very close to where Bobby Pop is from Johnstown. Uh, he, uh, he had great, great feeling about his players. And uh, the only reason he hired me, I think, is I got hurt playing and couldn't play any longer. So I think he felt sorry for me, hired me, and uh, got me every job I had at the University of Dayton, brought me back to Michigan State. He was about ready to retire. He called me and he said, I'm in the twilight of my career. He said, I'm gonna get you in professional football. That's when he called the Steelers and talked to Chuck Noll and got me a position there. So he was always helping his kids. When we went to the National Convention, we had the Green Mafia and night. One night he would rent a ballroom. Anybody that played for him, coached for him, had anything to do with Michigan State, we had dinner and drinks on Duffy. He was a tremendous guy. Can I tell a Duffy story? Go ahead and I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Speaking of going to national conventions, I'm sitting in a bar, in, uh, as usual, <laughs> in uh, I think it was Houston, Texas, and uh, Duffy comes in and sits down and says, Jerry, how are you? And we sat there, and we started telling stories, and I'm not paying any attention, and the next thing you know, there's two beers sitting up there, and I look up, there's three beers sitting up there, and then there's four beer. We've got them lined up just waiting to be drunk. And I said, what in the heck? And I turned around. There must have been 15 coaches standing behind Duffy and I, listened to he and I telling stories about football and Michigan and Michigan State when I was a high school coach. And it was one of the most enjoyable evenings I ever had in my life. And I said, Duffy, anytime you and I want to go, let's go again. This is the cheapest night I've had in this day. <laughs> <coughs> to play this game. And to me, that's what college football should be. I don't give a damn if there's 100,000 in the stands. We'd play them if there were 10. I don't care if they're worried about what is ESPN going to be on or is it going to be on the all we want to do is have a chance to play against a great opponent. And that's what college football should be. And when all of us remember that, football will be a hell of a lot better game. They're taking it away from us. I hate to see that.